Welcome, everybody, to In the Buff. Oh my goodness. Oh, he was crisp. He had, I just added, I added a P on his name. Here we are, back at it again. We've got me here, Chris. We've got our buddies Scott, John, and Ooh. Kyle here today. Oh, damn right we do. Mm-hmm. Hey, wait, hold on. I'm not that good at counting. Are we missing somebody? No, no, no. We've always had this guy. No, it's mm-hmm. just four people. It's always just been four oh. people, my guy. Yeah. Okay. It's just All the right. four of us. Yep. Okay. Just the four. He does yeah. sound older. He does. Barely. The normal. It's an did interesting way. Did you, did you hit puberty, Kyle? Hmm. I don't know that that's ever been the case. <laughs> well, he's still waiting. Fingers crossed. Well, anyway. No, we've nearly got, 30. Uh, <laughs> Not puberty yet. Uh, much yeah. much like every episode, we've got comments with Christopher. Every time. Um, Time-honored yeah. tradition yeah. of Chris reading do you have comments. Do you have those pulled up right now? Uh, yes, I do. John, could you read the comments for me? I, I like to read along with Christopher. Okay. Hold on, I'm, do you I'm have yours them, up? I'm trying to pull them up right now. Okay. Okay, oh, buddy. Okay. Okay. Unprofessional. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's fine, he's fine. Okay, uh, where are we starting? Uh, Five days ago, d Grift. Yes. Uh, from literally Chris eating a sandwich, uh, the short. What a short. Uh, uh, d Leaf, d Leaf, uh, Griff, mm. d Lee Griff, you are doing great here. Uh, has responded with reminds me of the time uh we timed uh you're doing great we, you're doing great <laughs> would you like to tag out <laughs> i think i could do a better d league voice than you i literally did not see the words in the correct order yep go reminds me of the time we timed and recorded chris eating that like four patty burger from Wingstop. wow that must have been a while ago mm-hmm. it was it mm. was a it was Seven years ago. You've learned that eating meat is wrong Mm -hmm. since then. Except for fish. We have a couple of comments Mm -hmm. from the roller derby episode last week. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. You can take over whenever you want. (laughs) Oh, yes. Well, from a friend of the channel, Monzi Cool God. She's so cool. Dab with the roller derby? Hmm. Uh, very cryptic <laughs> message there. Um, very cryptic. We also have, uh, I will give a dab to the roller derby. I just did it. Nice. I, nice. I refuse to. Um, uh, from Kyle here. Uh, don't feel left out, Scoot. I wasn't even a f- offered a roller derby or Japanese Italian parody plumber. Edit. Damn, I want to watch roller derby now. You know, I actually just got a notification because I follow them on Instagram. Um, they just had a a, a weekend bout happening in California. Ooh, Ooh we should have drove out. We should have. Nice. We should have. Um, we should have. Kyle then met, uh, responded to his own uh, comment here saying, 100%, give me a date and I'll join. And um, Kyle, I don't want to supply you with a date. You already have a girlfriend. Um, mm. Mm. in the tragedy of the enlightened lion short, uh, great short. We have even more Kyle here, <laughs> uh, feeling left out, bud. Um, a little bit. <laughs> I was really uh, expecting first... to, you know, make Cody <laughs> stop breathing for a bit this week. Who? <laughs> Nobody. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who are you talking about? Yep. Um, your first comment here is I'm curious about the terminal ballistics involved with a zebra being hit by an RPG. I don't believe zebra are sufficiently <laughs> dense to ignite the fuse on a heat warhead. Um, interesting. Um, you also said, as a human fundamentalist, I think we really moved away from what it is to be a hunter. We used to chase an animal until it died from being too tired. Arguably, that's a better situation for everybody involved, except maybe the zebra in question. Um, uh, well, wow. interesting, Kyle. Powerful interesting. stuff. We um, also used to scare um, elephants off of cliffs. Mm-hmm. You, we're gonna, we're gonna take this time. Uh, we have. Three, four. Our five next messages are from Kyle. 
Yes. Mostly, surprisingly, you commented on the Albed Primer's Guide. <laughs> what in God's name are you doing watching that? Oh my God. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna speed run these for you. Uh, yep. His his comment on literally Chris eating a sandwich. Why am I completely unsurprised that Chris can fit an entire McDonald's fillet of fish in his <laughs> mouth in one go? Uh, he actually started choking, so we cut the video early. <laughs> Uh, yeah. In the buff episode twenty four, we're talking role playing games. I have a schedule for my corner this time around, Cody. Who the fuck is Cody? No shenaniganery. Hey, he keeps getting Shenana, brought up. Shenana, or you forfeit okay. the competition. Well, whoever Cody is, looks like they forfeit. Get fucked, Cody. Wherever you are. <sighs> uh, in the buff episode nineteen, aren't you gonna go? Aren't you gonna go to the store? I did not realize we named it that. Uh, <laughs> yep. That was me. This is picture is going to age well. Uh, in the buff, episode nine, Into the Dark, my Kalan is ready for the <laughs> ephemeral future in which I get to join a John one shot. <laughs> so many of those. Final oh, Fantasy yeah. X, Out Bed Primer's Guide. One of these days, I would like to see a mod slash re remaster, <laughs> re re, where you, or sorry, where as you gather the primers, all the spoken dialogue in Albed also switches to English letter by letter in some horrific pigeon. Uh, Final Doesn't Fantasy X, Tita Celestial John? Weapon Guide Kalidbog from Nate Dequet. F me, I didn't get the chest. With Chris. Oh no. John? What? Isn't that what Albed does, though? In text, it does. I think he's talking about in in voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do that. like in the middle of them oh, saying it, it switches okay. to like it's like or. somebody switching from <laughs> Spanish to English in the middle of a sentence. But in the middle of a word. word. Donde está la library? <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's essentially what I was hoping for. Okay. 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 All comments right. are done. <laughs> Thank God. Fucking <laughs> finally. Good that, lord. That joke worked a uh, lot, lot more uh, poorly than I thought it was going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, you know what's interesting about jokes and working poorly? Is that if a joke doesn't work so great, you can just put it in a box. You can put a cardboard box on the ground, place the joke inside of it, put the flaps down, get some tape. The only problem is, that box is going to have sharp corners. Alright. <gasps> sounds like sounds like that's a segue, Scott. It's, uh, it was, you know, I, I'm stumbling down the road here, and I said the word corner. That's what matters. Correct. No, it, sound, it sounded like a box, Kyle. Hmm, yes. It's going to have... No. Was this an analogy? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I said the be word one of like or as. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're starting off strong here. Yeah, so, this, this is going to uh, be good. Anyways, let's just uh, remove the smoke and mirrors. It's Kyle's corner this it week. It is my corner Kyle, today. How so, are you going to keep me satisfied for the next 45 minutes? So I was rather inspired by your couldn't. previous corner, John. <sighs> yeah, I completely talked over whatever Scott said, so... Uh, it wasn't thanks. important. Yep. It was accurate, though. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I have decided we're going to play a little game today. Uh, I love games. Are, are we going to have another four-parter? Uh, I hope not. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I only have 24 prompts for you, so it shouldn't take us that long. Okay. Uh, we are going to... Do you guys know the game Million Dollars Butt? Nope. Okay. No. The premise of the game basically comes down to... I'm going to offer you an absurd amount of money... For you to have to suffer some egregious consequence to get the money. Do we, do we but, get the money? But, oh, so here's, Kyle, I am the worst person for you to play this with. So I have decided instead, my uh, attempt at an outside the box thinking here is let's combine this with the price is right. And I want, da, 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 da. I'm going to put you guys uh, a prompt forward and you are going to tell me the smallest amount of money you could reasonably see yourself doing this prompt okay. for. All right. Is uh, this like, are you going to be sharing your screen? And this isn't like a PowerPoint formation? Uh, no, not today. Uh, what I will, <laughs> what we'll do is we'll just have uh, everyone's totals as they go, they go across the screen. We're going to do some, some post post hoc editing for this one. 
Uh, and uh, College Humor's game show had an episode like this. Ah, cool. I have That's seen great. that one. I think The Simpsons did it too. It's very possible. I didn't the see Simpsons those. Done everything. This is true. Hmm. So, All right. I will be keeping a running total. I will just have you guys uh, message. We, what we'll do is I'll give you guys the prompt. We'll take five, ten minutes for you guys to discuss it however you want. Convince yourselves how whatever way oh, you guys want to so go. We're, sorry, we're discussing this with each other, then as a group we're coming up with a number? Then you guys are going to tell me in individually, individually oh. on Discord. You're going to private message me your oh. amounts. I'm going to put in everyone's totals into I have an Excel spreadsheet already to go for this. Uh, so a first prompt, we'll do an easy one, so you guys have a, an idea what we're going to be talking about here. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. First, first option, tell me the smallest amount of money that will get you to go in a very, very public place, like Times Square, New York, and you have mm -hmm. to scream like you're going Super Saiyan 3. Like cut together all of the time, all of the amount of screamings that Goku had to did through Frieza Saga all the way up to get to Super Saiyan three. All right, I... all right. Does this include the? And this is what it's like to go even further beyond. That. Absolutely, yes. it does. Okay, okay, okay. Cr okay. Chris right, so has already given me an from... answer. <laughs> I, Sorry, uh, go ahead, go ahead. See, I feel like right. John's gonna go low. Um, because he would do that anyway. Mm -hmm. Scott will also go low, um, <laughs> but probably higher than John. Uh, but that's because he feels nothing ever. I, on the other hand, have a ton of social anxiety that I cannot move past. So I'm like, large amount sent. Um, All right. Sorry. So like, what's the... Who is is this like a competition thing? Like, okay, so we're, price we're, wins we're at the end, or the, the lowest price wins at the end. Who's ever more willing okay. to give up their dignity for small amounts of money wins. <laughs> All right, I I think I'm with I'm willing to answer this right now. I sent Kyle my 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 amount already. <laughs> okay, I have I've I've tabulated Here's John. Does anybody yeah. have anything they want to add to this? Sorry, sorry. Here's <laughs> here's the problem. All right, we're gonna talk about my my train of thought here. Um, but when does this get revealed? Does this get revealed after we all lock in our answers? Uh, this will get all revealed at the end. Unless you do, you guys want to me to to uh, re read yeah, these I out to everybody? I, sure. Let's reveal yeah. it in real time. Okay. After, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. after everybody's uh, submitted. So okay. every everybody has given me an answer. Does anybody want to put forward anything else that they would say to change this? Yeah. I mean, we can absolutely talk about this a little bit. Um. So I think we know what kind of crowd this is directed towards already. Um. But that being said, I think it's more than just dollars that has to get me to do this. All right. I can't. I can't put. An actual dollar amount, even though I already sent it to Kyle. Um, um, so it's it, so it's the price that a twenty four pack of Bud Light is. Got it. <laughs> you think I drink Bud Light? You no, think? he drinks Bud Lime, dude. Nah, dog. It's all Coronas up in here and shots of S whatever you want to buy. Just give him a handle, Jameson. He'll go. He'll go do it immediately. Okay, so like. Thirty-two forty-nine. Holy shit! That's how many dollars for you? <laughs> yeah. No. Why forty-nine dollars? No, that's no forty-nine cents. That would be like two twelve packs of Corona at my store. Thirty-two dollars forty-nine cents, yeah. as we say. That includes tax. I want you to know, Chris. <laughs> I was pre-gaming some really hard shit the night that this kind of sort of happened in a smaller area. That's great. So we've all submitted. Okay. So here here are the the answers so far. From Chris, we have a hundred thousand dollars and fifty cents. Incredible. Uh John has decreed that with sufficient alcohol he will do this for thirty-eight dollars. <laughs> are you kidding me, guys? Are you for real? <laughs> Scott, to yell at, at a public place, you need thirty eight dollars. You, you remember, you have to go yell for at least three minutes straight, guys. 
So Scott, has, okay, Scott, okay. Has, <laughs> Scott has submitted one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew you were playing a fucking Uno reverse card, bro. <laughs> okay. Prompt number two. The smallest amount of money you would take for every time you cut your hair, it grows in thicker. Oh, Sorry, say that. Tough. Say that again. The small amount of money that you would suffer through every single time you cut your hair, it grows in thicker. That would be a boon for John. That would actually be pretty terrible because I cut my hair like once every two weeks. No, but what are you talking about, John? You'd regrow your hair. You you do. I mean, so sorry. I was guess I guess I was thinking like girth <laughs> of the base of it. So it no, just started like fucking you, spreading you, off my head. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like not, not quite. <laughs> but you do you do start growing more and more and more hair. No, oh, I, I okay. was thinking. Right. I was thinking for John specifically. It doesn't regrow. It's it just like combining into one big hair. Until <laughs> now does this work for like all my hair? Tail. Oh uh, yeah, that's a good question. And it's all the hair on your body. It's not just the hair on your head. Okay. I love the idea of having a big old bushy Ooh. beard. I mean, mm, listen, yeah. Yeah. listen. My forest moon of Endor stays pretty cleanly, cleanly shaved. All right. So like that becomes a problem for me. You know what I'm saying? But a uh, man, I do. I hate having hair on top of my head. <sighs> But I would love to have hair on top of my head again. I'm sure you would. I think I got my answer. Mm. I think I might have mine, too. I'm about to send it to you, Kyle. Yeah, I... Beard would be nice. Beard would be nice. I think conservatively I'll go with that. But I'm I'm gonna get hunted to death for being a Sasquatch. (laughs) Pluses and minuses, it's just like it'll suck to have to get a haircut so often. This is the least amount I would be willing to get paid to get this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point, too. Man, I have not had to think about a cost of a haircut in a minute. Like, literally most of the last decade. If if this were happening to me, I'd be willing to just buzz it all off, I think. The problem is, at a certain point, it's so thick you can't cut through it. Hmm. So then it So it does thicker. get girthy. It's just so there's so much hair. Yeah. I'll just light my scalp on fire. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm just That's gonna Anakin cutting. myself. That's not cutting. That Wow. <clears throat> That'll do it. I've submitted. Mm-hmm. Alright. John, we're waiting um, on you. <sighs> Man. Smallest amount of money one. you did the smallest, smallest amount of money to reverse your male male pattern baldness into another problem. Alright, I submitted it. Okay, I I don't know what that currently goes for, so it's gonna be you. just the one. <laughs> okay, we when we get when we get to me, I'll, I'll I'll tell you exactly how much that is worth. Okay, so for your hair to grow in thicker every single time it's cut all over your body, Chris has decided to go for the low low price of two hundred and fifty dollars and forty nine cents. Nice. Nice. See, I was thinking that. I was thinking 250 I don't know. Scott has decided that he will not sell himself so short. He can deal with less hair. $1,500. John, you guys the one putting I the... I really want hair again. <laughs> <laughs> John, after considerable thought, said one share of Shiba Inu. Ooh, and I'm wondering if you mean Dogecoin. one share of Dogecoin. One share of Shiba Inu currently costs one one thousandth of a penny. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. I, don't want this, I don't want this power for free. I, I, I feel like I need to be paid something for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a Lego head this, of George this one, Binks. This one will require a little bit more a uh, little bit more of an explanation on my part for you guys. But from now on, what is the smallest amount of money that you will put up with having to appease the machine spirit in your car? Now what in that means car? is 
your car now has something like a spirit or an AI living in it. And in order to drive your car safe, safely and successfully, you have to pray to it. You have to burn expensive, uh, incense you have to rub it down with the right oils that have been blessed you (laughs) you have to follow the correct incantations you've got to make sure that anytime you use the e-brake you're you're pulling it the right way Hmm. all that anything if somebody bad mouths the car while they're inside of it yeah the car's gonna just shut off if you don't do these things it'll just like remove the brakes on uh, on the highway and you're a quick question. <laughs> well, more of a statement. I do not own a car. <laughs> oh shit! It's just lie. like it's just like, hey John, you remember when uh <laughs> you ran my tank to E last week, and then you chose not to get until like we left for work Monday morning. Be a real shame if we didn't get off on that exit. Did it? What it? Hmm? What's going on here? Oh, did you hear something fall off the car? Get fucked, loser. <laughs> All so right. the smallest amount I would have to get paid to deal to, with that from now to on. To deal with that. I don't know. It's kind of cool, though. You're like a warlock. Also, it's mm-hmm. only your problem. Yep. Like, now you're a bad person if you don't deal with it. Who's paying me to deal with this? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think it means that you're paying someone else. You're, you're paying the universe and either expensive stuff or what incense and things uh, to appease the car spirit. I have submitted. Okay, so I don't, and I don't want to do it. This is, that's the thing. You've got to, you got to, you got to pick an amount. It's like you um, got to put up with it. You can't just be like, I ain't taking the deal. This is being forced on you. So I don't know how much would be enough for me to deal with that. So Chris, you want me to put that number in there for you? Or you want to submit a higher one? Here, I'll make it. I'll make it easy on you. I'll make it easy on you. Okay. My rationale here is, I mean, I don't have to own a car. Okay. All right. This is true. That's fair. But now I feel like, what if this car that you don't own, or you no longer own, if you did own the car at that moment in time, it just comes back and finds you, like, hey, bub, you think you can get rid of me that easily? I like, think that's kind of fun. I could be like Turner and Hooch, but with a car and a man instead it of could a dog. Very, yeah, it, but then, it, like, it could very easily be a self-driving car. Wait, yeah. you Knight Rider? <laughs> it is like Knight Rider. I like how I explained the yep. plot to Knight Rider, but called it Turner and Hooch. <laughs> <laughs> you just, like, fucking idiot. the car that you've gotten rid of that keeps coming back to you just fucking drives into your fucking room. I, I, and, like, I, I, it just barely I, pops your waterbed. I, I will like, have to say, oh, you're not yeah. allowed to put negatives yeah, you you in could this, get rid of me that easy? Chris. <laughs> Do what? You're not allowed to put negatives in this. Oh, How much for you to I'll deal with this fucking $16. car? <laughs> Anything more and I'll just take the bus. I need to know how much that's going to be, John. <laughs> you know, whatever the next step up is, I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Listen... Wait, Chris, anything more and you'll just take the bus. Chris, you realize you're getting this money. Not paying it. You you know that, right? You know what? Oh. You know what? I'd like to change my answer. Okay. You're not paying a hundred grand to go scream in Times Square. <laughs> no, I knew that. He's he he's given this he, one differently. He worded this one. I I'm locking it in. My stupidity has locked it in. Okay. <laughs> Any more than that, and I'll take the bus. <laughs> That's when the bus becomes the outraged vehicle. That'd be awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh. So a, it's not a price, but it's a price I would accept. Okay. We're just gonna get N A here. Which breaks my entire thing, so I guess you're getting skipped. <laughs> Who me? Yeah, okay, so we're putting we're putting it in here. So to appease the machine spirit in your car is is the second one your your final answer, yes? Yeah. Okay. Chris uh will only put up with this for one dollar and forty nine cents. <laughs> John will only put up with this for a participating audience on the YouTube channel. 
Ooh. <laughs> that is worth a lot. And, uh, that, yeah, I was gonna say, that's a shit ton of money. <laughs> and, uh, Scott will do it for a quarter. Specifically one <laughs> from the year JFK got shot. So it's probably yes. worth quite a bit more. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. That's at least $65. Okay. No. <laughs> $65. Okay. Maybe like a buck twenty-nine. Next one. Okay. How, what is the smallest amount of money for you to have to put up with every time you die in a video game from here on out, you have to go out and punch a puppy? Oh, Ooh, wow. <laughs> Holy oh, man. shit. Chris, you're going to be a fucking animal abuser. <laughs> or, or you just don't play video games ever again. <laughs> this is a bad one. I don't. I oh, love dogs. Wow! I get a lot of money. This one sucks. Um, how much? How much money do I? Here's need here's the problem, though. All right. A dollar seems too. I hard. could just play League of Legends, where I die at least ten times a game. <laughs> but two dollars seems too high. <laughs> two dollars seems too high to like counterbalance you punching a puppy yeah these gotta be real punches too right yes you've gotta go out no, and find, no holding back you've gotta go find a real dog and punch it as hard as you can oh man do I get extra money if I wear like brass knuckles no that's bullshit what do you mean you decide how much money you get John <laughs> yeah but can I get like a bonus in case I need to make more that week <laughs> this, no. this is a one time payment Oh, it's just a single payment? Yes. You I get paid. So, okay, hold on a second. <laughs> I get paid 20 bucks for the rest of my, just, it's not every time I punch a dog. It's right now I get $20 or however much I say. Yes. The rest it of my life I have to punch a puppy. Yes. Okay, that's important. All right. God How do you damn. guys not understand the premise of this game? <laughs> okay. I really had to think about that number. That's I small to me. I am like hard stuck right now. If somebody approached me with that number, there's like that's the game, right? The lowest I could possibly go. Right. I, if somebody wow. approaches me with that I, number, it, I don't think I could ever say no. I you know what? Uh thinking about it, even myself, I'd be like, I just I just swear off video games. I just I don't play video games where I can die anymore from now on. I could do I could too do much that. good for my family with that number. Yeah, I know, right? That's like, that's, that's pay off the house, that's fucking move to Washington or something, that's just yeah. go away. After paying off the house. <laughs> I, that's, that's actually similar, I mean, my number's probably, I, I feel like my, my number's lower than your guys' number. Yo, <laughs> hey, John, wow. I, oh man. Apparently Chris hates fucking dogs or something here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, that's... Uh, okay, I can I can understand that. Can you go can you go yeah. from highest to lowest? Highest to lowest? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, in order for everybody to deal with punching a puppy from dying in a video game, Chris and comes just, in just at to specify, the highest. Just 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 to specify. Can you tell me dog age range like like from born to like 8 months? Like how, when do they stop being a pumpy? Pup, uh, pumpy. That's a good a point. Puppy. puppy? Uh, when they've grown into their feet. Oh. Alright, well, Dexter was seven years old, and he still hadn't grown into his fucking bear paws, so. <laughs> okay, so the highest goes to Chris, with 300,000 and a penny. Okay. okay, well, I feel like a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs> Next is like Scott, more than you. with $250,000. Yep. And God John, damn, dude. John comes in as the cheap bitch with fifty grand. <laughs> <laughs> it, it takes you only fifty grand to punch a puppy. Fuck off! You okay. can barely buy a car with fifty Fuck. grand. No, are you kidding me? I can pay off my house with fifty grand. <laughs> this day and age, in this economy. Yeah, I bought my house before the economy got fucked. In this part of the country. Yep. Okay. 
Now that everyone understands I, the premise I, of the game, here we I go. I heard you guys say, sorry, I heard you guys say like, oh yeah, you know, I can really take care of my family with this money. I can, I could buy a house. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I could pay my house off with 50,000. You're like, I could take them to wherever. I'm like, I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could go to Mars. Okay. What? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Final question. Okay, we're done with punching puppies. <laughs> now God. one that's that's a lot less difficult to decide. Smallest amount of money to be the target in the most dangerous game. Oh no. Okay, alright. Well, that's a win-win mm. for you, Chris, because do you get some money? <laughs> How long is this before the dangerous game takes place? Uh, Do we get paid? You take the money and or you you basically I, be you agree to the deal. You are you wake up on an island immediately, and you have okay, to survive and, for three days. Okay, so and talk to me like I'm an idiot. What are the rules of the most dangerous game? Okay, some you are being hunted. Yeah, some rich dude is gonna come out onto his own private jungle island, and he is gonna try to kill you and stuff you. Mm -hmm. He has like late or early early 1900s gear at the at the best you know big game All safari right. hunter dude is gonna you know tr track you through the woods you gotta survive for three days and this is like i'm approached and they're like hey this is it how much money and you're playing the most dangerous game i don't have any time to like go to the gym i don't have a couple months to like no, prepare right now nothing like that nope the instant you okay. say yes, you get if you survive for three days, money is in the bank. Do I get? Here's my deliberation here. Mm -hmm. I'm not living <laughs> right. I don't get to see this money. Right. That's not going to happen, Scott. Scott doesn't even need to get hunted. If you drop Scott <laughs> on a jungle island, I'll, I'll like probably dr trip over a rock and die. <laughs> you accidentally suffocate because you just don't realize to pick yourself up. I can't swim. It's a it's a puddle. <laughs> it's a puddle. It's, you're you're just laying like, on sand. It's like Peter Griffin going to the restaurant and they give him water wings because he got the soup. <laughs> wow, nice Family Guy reference. Okay, uh, if you're All asking right. if your family gets the money, no. So now the like, next this question is, ruined, is: This is going to ruin my whole and score. You take whatever, like in the most dangerous game, you take whatever you have on you at that time. Yes. Or you just wake up in a t-shirt and shorts. Well, you, sure, you can have whatever you're currently wearing. Okay, so like, if you just like grab a pen and paper and then say yes, you have enough time to write out your will. More Scott. or less. So like, you could cheese the system that way. I don't know, man. Fuck. <laughs> as, I, I want to be creative. I'll game. take like, it. He just said my family doesn't get the money. Uh, that that was a creative solution. <laughs> I'll take it. I assume that you have to survive to get the money. So b then basically okay. what's occurring is Yeah, exactly. I have to survive to get the money. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Cuz they're not just going to give me 10, you know, whatever. Well, like so, 10 well, bucks so what's the lowest like, hey. amount of money where you go I I I've got to fucking make it. But the my score is fucked, guys. <laughs> <The> <laughs> problem, I can tell you that. The problem there is Kyle. We're not allowed to say no. Right. You said we have to do this. Yes, I did. All right. Like, well, that's that's the game. We have to get to the number that we cannot say no to. Right. Good yeah. thing I have this illegal firearm on me. <laughs> and let me let me see one thing about my number. Uh, actually, say, <laughs> announce them, and then I'll I'll say the reasoning behind my number. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I can do that, too. Okay. Uh, jo we're um, still waiting on John. Yeah, I I don't I don't think I have a legitimate number here. That's okay. I mean, Scott did put a legitimate number either. There you go. <laughs> That's all you got out of me, man. Uh, do you want to add a five to the end of that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you guys want me to continue going in highest to lowest? Uh, okay. I think in, yeah, 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 I think Highest Lois also works here. Okay. So, in order to be the target of the most dangerous game, Scott coming in with a whopping $100 trillion. 
Okay. More money than you're the at, entire you're, world. You're approaching me. You're approaching me to say, hey, uh, so you're going to die. <laughs> Basically. You're going to die. How much money for you to try and not die? Right. That's fair. <laughs> okay. John, coming in with, do you want me to add it after, do you want me to put a, a, a decimal point in there before the five, or are you cool with there being five digits there? I'm cool with there being five digits. Okay, John coming in with $80,000 and 85, or eight, $80,085. Boobs. Yep. <laughs> You're telling me some guy's like, hey, I'm going to hunt you to death. And if you survive, you get 80 grand. You, you're like, hell yeah. I think you're looking at it the wrong way, Scott. Um, I only need 30,000 more dollars than punching a dog every time I die in a video game to, to, to agree to this. Okay. Is the right way to look at that. Okay. And Chris coming in with the low, low price of $40,000. Time out. Time out. What are we time, talking about? Time out. Sorry, you say thirty thousand dollars? Forty. Forty. Oh, okay. Uh, um <laughs> Cody, add to this add this to your fucking John bot. <laughs> I punch dogs. <laughs> <laughs> um my my reasoning behind forty thousand dollars is that uh win or lose, live or die, I don't have to worry about student debt anymore. <laughs> so student debt is enough for you to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we know where Chris stands. All right, we're coming down okay. from some incredibly height, some incredible heights now. Um, smallest amount of money, you must organically wax a turtle. A by explain to me organically waxing a turtle. Yeah. You guys are going to have to figure this one out on your own. What? Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, all right. What do you guys think organically waxing a tor turtle is? I, I, See, so I think this means that we have to go mm -hmm. out and harvest the wax, and then harvest a turtle, and then wax the turtle with the wax that we harvested. So we're talking beehives. We're talking into the ocean. We're talking uh, 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 combining whatever to make it into a bar thing. I could find a turtle in like a creek yeah. near my house. It doesn't have to be oh, like yeah, a giant that's, turtle. That's right. We live in Ohio. We have turtles. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, like, my dad's accidentally ran over a turtle with his lawnmower. <laughs> oh. Wait, maybe it's sexual. He was fine, though. He lives in his house. Maybe it's sexual. What? <laughs> he didn't say orgasmically. Quacks, he said organically. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean... Would it harm the turtle? No, you're not allowed to harm the turtle. For sure, I think. Do it, I, I think have so. to find I mean, the turtle to get waxed? It's up to you guys if that's the is, way you want to do it. You is can... waxing the turtle harmful to the turtle? <laughs> like I'm talking. I think IRL. so. I think it is. <clears throat> All right, we've got a okay, so John. <laughs> I hate animals. I don't really give a shit about <laughs> turtles. I think it... I like them. I mean, I think it'd be a fun experience. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Like to, to make my own bar of wax and then to wrangle a turtle. I don't know if that's what waxing a turtle is. I'm, I'm saying <laughs> yeah. that for my Does, amount of money, that's what it is. Has everybody submitted one? <laughs> Chris, I have not for got one yet. my amount of money, that's what it is. Okay. Alrighty. So... Now, I will tell you guys now that your answers are all locked in. When I heard, because I didn't come up with this one in particular, wax a turtle, I thought, like, surfboard. What? Oh. So I thought uh, you had well, to, like... I don't even know what that means. <laughs> so you, you apply wax to a surfboard yeah. so that it doesn't get... So it reduces drag in the water. Yeah. Oh. Were you and thinking, like, what... wax, like, hair removal? Yeah. <laughs> No, I was thinking wax like polishing the shell or something. Yeah, yeah. something like me that. And, me and Scott were on the same page. Huh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, Scott coming in with our highest bidder here today. Really? At $1,250 to wax a turtle. 
right, all right. John coming in second place with I got second. Hundred and fifty dollars. I'd like to use this moment to defend myself and say that that's all I need to get a turtle, or let somebody borrow their let me let them borrow let me borrow their turtle. I'm doing great. Let me borrow their turtle and then buy everything I need to wax the turtle on Amazon. Okay. Fifty dollars from Chris to wax a turtle. I think it'd be a f- see. Like I'm imagining. Time. A guy comes up, he's like, here, I'm going to give you $1,250, you have to organically wax a turtle. That means you have to cultivate wax. You have to do it in some way. That's That alone is more than a 50 buck job, dude. I think it'd be a fun thing to do. You're wrong. Okay. <laughs> Namely because... And then I gotta go find a goddamn turtle. I, I, Alrighty. I have friends who are apiaries. So Chris has got this in the in the bags. But it's He's not. got the connect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, hey, dude. Smallest Listen, amount of money. Craigslist. Craigslist has a lot of people on it. To walk a goldfish. <laughs> to walk. Would you say walk fish? a goldfish? Hmm. I mean, I can just tell you right now. I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think we need to debate this. <laughs> okay. My answer is locked in. All right. All right, I'll give you my reasoning um, after the fact. Okay. I'll just tell you, that's an hour of my time. I'll walk that motherfucker for an hour. Okay. I genuinely walked my salamander, Rufus. <clears throat> All right, we have, as the highest bidder this time around, Chris with $1,000. Are you shitting me, Chris? <laughs> um... It's a thousand dollars because I'm thinking like logistically, like what do I need to do? Um, you carry a fucking the fish bowl. Will die. And no, you. This is the amount of money in my head that lets me rent out a pool, <laughs> or at least take an old I mean, pool you're... and fill it up with with the proper water for it. And so I'm walking alongside the goldfish in the pool. Okay. Okay. Incredible. We have John right. in second place coming in with ten dollars. That's an hour long walk that I'm taking your goldfish on. Okay. And uh Scott coming in with a dime. I, I I'll just drag the motherfucker on a string behind me. <laughs> That's oh, what I, I was thinking was gonna happen. I'm all huh? carrying its bull. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Smallest amount of money to eat a scorpion. Cooked? Is it alive? <laughs> <laughs> does that affect your? Does that affect the outcome? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. If you guys want, you can put hmm. with or without it being alive, or you can cook it. All right. Okay. Like cooking it will immediately make it dead. I didn't specify how the scorpion has to be. I'm locked in already. All right. This is actually a really easy choice for me. Same. Ooh, this just became very challenging for Chris, though. Hmm. Chris, you only eat fish. Yeah, so what's mm. the price for me to Stop drop being... my morals? Um, well, originally it was like $5 because I have ate a scorpion. Um, and it was a banana. I only picked the second number because it rhymed. It was in a <laughs> banana flavored popsicle from uh, Jungle Gyms. Okay. Uh, and so I was like, five dollars, that's enough to buy that. I'll eat it. Hold on. And I was like, no, wait, I can't now. I feel like you aren't understanding the game. Chris. And I'm scared. Chris. Are you okay? Hold on, you just started talking about a popsicle. It had a scorpion in it. Okay. I have all the numbers. We need to, hold on, time out. Okay. Can you unravel this for me, Chris? What? What do you mean it had a scorpion in it? I'm confused. Like, like it had a living, it had, well, it wasn't living at the time, it was dead. It had a real scorpion in the middle of the popsicle. And you just and, like. And that was how they sold them? Or that sucker. was just a okay, freak hold accident? On, hold on, hold on, everybody stop. It's a sucker, not a popsicle. Why does this matter, first off? Secondly, like your rationale for your cho- your value is, oh, it would cost $5 for a popsicle with a scorpion in it, right? Yeah. Um, 
I don't think, maybe I'm misunderstanding. The situation I'm imagining is Satan himself approaches me and says, hey, I'll give you redacted to eat this scorpion. Pretty much. And whatever number it is, it's the least, the lowest number possible for me to say yes to. Generally speaking, yeah. That's... Because he uses his magic Satan powers. Right. Okay, cool. So that was my initial thought. But then I thought about it a little more, and I got probably the highest of the three of us, so yeah. Kyle. Well, now, mm-hmm. but then you were talking about walking the goddamn fish, and you're like, oh, I would need to rent a pool. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. I, this I, is for entertainment I'm, value. It's, I'm it's, sorry. Okay, we're... it's the term of... Hey, you got to walk this goldfish. It's up to me to figure out how to walk the goldfish. Dra- tying I'm- it to a string and <laughs> dragging it is totally valued. So, so we're just going to bypass the fact that Chris said he ate a scorpion that was in a popsicle? Uh, I mean, that's how they sell them. Yeah. Hold it's, on. It's, it's, what? A, it's a lollipop, not a popsicle. Yeah. Elfie. What are you talking about? I've never heard. Yeah, of they sell those. They're, yeah, Where? They're popu- when? They're, Who? Trader Joe's. I said that. Uh, they're popular <laughs> in Mexico. Uh, I had it in high school because I was in Spanish class. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> to break his morals down and eat a scorpion, Chris would require seven hundred dollars. Okay. John, uh, no explanation given. Thirty-five dollars. <laughs> All right. Why? Why? Here's <laughs> here's why. <laughs> cooked and it cost $45 at a Brazilian steakhouse I went to once for a school but that's, Scott that's, assuming it's dead this money. Scott assuming it's dead is one I know I know what I said okay I t- what I'm, what like, I'm saying, I, I, it, I'm genuinely interested. I wonder what a scorpion would taste like. So if it were dead, I'd be like, yeah, just give me a buck. I'll try a scorpion. So for me, it was the least amount of money that I would be willing to eat a cooked scorpion for is $35. All right. All right. For for me, it was 25 and a dollar if it were alive and I had to eat a living scorpion. <laughs> and I'm like 25 bucks because... Like, uh, there's like a non-zero chance that it stabs me in the eye and I die or something or go blind. So I like grab it by the, the tail and then I'll eat it that way. Alrighty. I wouldn't eat it. I mean, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't, I don't understand for you, Scott, if we jump back, it's a hundred trillion dollars for you to go to a game that you're already being forced to go to. No, that's the thing. You're not understanding the game. I would just say no in every scenario. Yeah. Even if he offered me ten billion dollars, I'm like, no, you're you're asking me to die, basically. But you you're can't saying, say no. Hey. But that's the thing. I cannot say no to the lowest possible number. And the lowest possible number that I would not say no to, because if somebody's like, I'll li- literally give you one hundred trillion dollars if you live three days after being hunted. I'd be like, Okay, yeah, I'll try it. I'll become the richest person in the universe. I guess, I guess yeah, I'm not understanding because Kyle said we can't that, say no. That that's correct. He's 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 following the correct premise there. He's like, I will only do this if you give me all the money in the world. Is basically think, the yeah, way- you're right. I have absolutely been playing this wrong. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We're just, we've got fucking 14 more of these. We're going to just have to <laughs> oh, just. We are 50 minutes in, my guy. I'm aware. We're going to have to try it. I'm going to have to cut a few of these out. All right. Uh, using a public toilet. Using a public toilet gives you food poisoning for two days. No. <laughs> okay. I I mean. This I game's too big brain for I me. I don't use them. I can't. I don't use them. I can't go anywhere for an hour without using the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Every time we go to the theater, you use the bathroom at least twice. Once before, once, sometimes during, sometimes after. But always one of those. This is an easy one for me. So, um, the least amount of money for me to be okay with getting food poisoning by going and taking a shit in a public restroom. Correct. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And I bet you get food poisoning because you eat the shit that's there. <laughs> that's... <laughs> okay. I just know John. Okay. You know. Man. That I, makes uh... sense, Chris. I don't blame you. I don't, I don't want, want it. I don't want it. 
but it's not like trillions of dollars so i guess i'm okay with it <laughs> to a point <laughs> all righty because with that with that, with the <laughs> amount of money i would take for it i can get like my stomach pumped <laughs> <laughs> okay but, okay sure all right um, chris is coming in with two million dollars I don't blame I you. I can kind of understand that because you you like travel around, right? You, Chris, yeah. this this more than directly me. negatively affects Chris for the rest of his life. He's just never not yeah, sick. Yeah. Oh wait, this is every time you use a public restroom. Would you like to change your answer? Because yes, mine compounds. I can't huh. go. I cannot stay home for more than. For some days. reason, I was just thinking like it was the next time. No, nope, it's the all the time. Oh my god, I hate this game, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to uh, some. Uh, I've, I've got some. Uh, I've got some other fun ones, dude. There's no price tag for this, bro. Okay, I'll just use the previous one for now. No, I'm throwing something Seven, together. Okay, seventy-five dollars. <laughs> My original answer was thirteen hundred bucks. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's too little. <laughs> It's way too little. I, I'm I'm right with, there with Chris. I would I would be devastated by this. I never use the public toilet. Yeah, I don't really Scott, either. Scott wins this one easy. Uh, like, <laughs> I don't. I I think I use a public restroom. Well, nope. Actually, I do lose because work. we work. Mm -hmm, I use yep. that toilet maybe once a day. Well, I mean, frankly, with $2 million, I can get private bathrooms and places. Ooh, <laughs> that's an interesting choice. Like, yeah, I can solve this issue. All right. And then when you could have a guy like driving a bathroom yep. around with you. Mm -hmm. John, up you his have answer. Your own porta potty. And then whenever yeah. when I run out of money to pay him, I go use a public bathroom somewhere. Get two million dollars, sit in my room for two days, and then I can pay him. But no, you get you get two million dollars one time. Yeah, it's once. Yeah, it's not every time you use it. Mm. <laughs> we 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 fallen okay. for this, Chris. You and I keep falling for <laughs> yeah, this thing yeah. where we think every time we're gonna get food poisoning, we get <laughs> we get money. Like like I was like I was like oh, every time I punch a dog, I'm gonna make money. <laughs> Oh, you mean ATMs or just bathrooms now? So hold on. I can have 99 lives in Crash Bandicoot, but every time I die, I get $50,000? <laughs> like, like, what? Okay, John coming in with $750,000, and Scott once again deciding to sell himself for a dime. Yeah. He has to make up uh, It's another dime. This one has more character than the previous Kyle, one. what would your answer have been? For that one? Uh, yeah, I I've gone probably well above Chris at that stage. Um, how often do you shit at work? <laughs> I have very bad bowels, maybe three times a uh, night. For those of you who don't know, Kyle and I work at the same facility. Yes. Even when we were in school, I never used the school toilet. Right. So uh, I'd I be really in often. really bad shape within a day. Dude, every hour on the hour. I'd need, I'd need <laughs> at <laughs> least, I'd need at least another two zeros on the end of Chris's thing. Chris, if it compounded, you wouldn't be like, oh, oh, I'm throwing up and I'm sick. You'd just be dead. <laughs> okay, we're 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 done with the bathroom one. <laughs> we gotta we gotta cut these down a little bit. <laughs> Anytime you get takeout, the person in front of you is making multiple large orders. Ah, fuck <laughs> me, man! Dude, I'm Anytime, a very, I'm a very, and this you go and this a lot. this counts Ubers. <laughs> I don't Uber. I don't. I don't DoorDash or anything like that. But bro, I would lose my fucking sanity because I get Taco John, Bell at least like six times a week. You would have to get Taco Bell, like, two hours in advance of Cody's game every weekend. Oh, my God. I'm and the thing is, it's like, person. Uh, the problem is, okay, question for you. This is a legitimate question. Um, does that compound? Like, 
Cause I'm picking up Chris, and then Chris is like, "Can we get Taco Bell?" And I'm like, "Yeah, sure, dude. We could we could absolutely get Taco Bell." Does that order double in size now? Uh, that already massive order. Uh, both of you being involved in this does not compound the issue. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So we should order our food together. Then is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> like get the most value out of the people yeah, who yeah, are in yeah. front. I mean, it's just another scenario no, here. I, Maybe I'm, I could claw my way back from the one hundred trillion dollar mark. I, I like the oh idea. My God. I um, like the idea that uh, you try to game the system. Like Chris, go in front of me, and then just like you. He's like Chris, go in front of me, and Chris just steak. <laughs> Chris, Chris, go in front of me, and Chris is like, uh, yeah, I'd like um. I'd like 24 black bean burritos. Um, I'd like, uh, do you guys have the black bean crunch wraps? Okay, yeah. Uh, I'd like to have 97 of those. Uh, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, hey, what's up, mom? Yeah, I'm just going to talk about, you want something? Okay, can I also get um 84? And it's like, Chris, we're in the same fucking car. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Chris, what the fuck are you doing right now? Chris, you're not supposed to order so much food. We were supposed to order together, Chris. Together. <laughs> All right, John, uh, you got I a number? My <laughs> I submitted my answer. Okay, I see it. All right, John, our high bid here tonight, $500,000. Chris, you went lower than me? <laughs> Chris, only 1000 What? <laughs> like, what? I'm very patient. <laughs> It's two hours. <laughs> it's like a two-hour-long order, bro. Dude, I we gotta wait for their next fucking supply truck to come in before they get out of the fucking drive-through line. At at Walmart, there's only <clears throat> ever one person, and Grandma doesn't like using the self-checkouts. And that old lady scans one item at a time, <laughs> one item per hour. And there's five people in front of us. I can sit through anything, motherfucker. <laughs> I can fall asleep in the line standing up. I don't care. I can do it. <laughs> okay. Scott came Scott's? in $50. All right. Okay. okay. I'm going to lead out. <laughs> Next one. Right. I mean, you're fucked because you're you're in the car with us sometimes. I, I, I don't mind being in the car with you guys. Okay. So now For this one hours. is just translating D&D &D terms to real life. Just Ooh, so okay. you guys know. Uh, mm -hmm. You ten gain bucks. a permanent negative 10 to all checks to avoid paper cuts. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I, all right. I so it is still paper. possible to avoid paper cuts. You just got to roll really well. I, uh, right. I Now, I now question. I cannot take this deal. Mm -hmm. Is this like a, is this like a, I know I'm about to deal with paper. So it's just like, oh, okay. Uh, let me just. Yeah, you can Fuck, stack. I got a, I got, you can I got a stack two. other buffs on there. Yeah. All right. You can like put gloves on. Oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. Ov oven gloves. Man, I do monthly performance reviews for my associates, and I always try to do like one to two a day. <laughs> so that means I'm always dealing with at least one to two pieces of paper a day. I could just see a world where two days in a row, those bad boys fucking slice the same spot. Yeah. And it's game over for me. I'm out after that. So, I'm just like, just a quick glance at around my apartment. I'm surrounded by stacks of playing cards <laughs> and <laughs> hundreds of books and notebooks. So your number is going to be high. Is oh, yeah, high. it was. Very high. His high, number uh, was absurd. <laughs> oh, dude, could you imagine getting a paper? Oh, my God. Could you imagine... Sitting in the fucking Taco Bell line, Chris, for two hours. And then, like, as soon as you get the bag, it just cuts your fucking hand. And then, like, and and then, you, like you, go to, and then you, you go to reach in. It. You go to reach in to get the napkins out. And they all slice your hand, too. Oh, my God. I would be done. You already roll so poorly. Dude, I, I was at my grandma's and there was an iris growing in the front yard. And I just, like... Touched. I touched the <laughs> edge of the leaf, and I got a paper cut. From the <laughs> plant. I can't. Bro. No. For okay. my amount of money, Chris. I can hire somebody to just touch things for me. <laughs> Chris did throw yeah. in an amount of money that he could just do that at ten mm. billion dollars. 
<laughs> okay. Well, I Scott, enjoy self-inflicted pain. Yep, Scott coming in with 65,000, and John, the low okay. bid today at 25. John, John. John $25? Twenty-five dollars. 25 bucks. John, listen to me. You're not thinking of something. You're going to cut your asshole. I thought about it. I thought about it, Chris. And you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna go outside. I'm gonna spread my cheeks with my hands. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna no, I'm gonna scatling gun that shit so I leaves, don't need to wipe anything. Leaves can No, no I'm not I'm not squatting to the I'm not squatting to the ground. I'm not squatting to the ground. There's gonna be about six inches of the ground. Bending clear. ninety degrees at the waist. John. Not like th- this is the thing. That's where you went to instead of like, oh, I could get a bidet for yeah. ten million dollars. I can get a bidet. I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All righty, guys. If you're gay, you could never have sex oh. with Vlad Stanley. Next one. Did I? Did what? I? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Did I tell you about about my vacation uh, <laughs> where one of the bathrooms had had the fucking the water gun? Uh, in the toilet? You have. But you haven't... Uh, I like how you called it a water gun. I just said the day. Um, <laughs> you have, but you haven't told it on the podcast. All right. Okay, so, quick story. For the, story, you guys who don't know, went on vacation... Uh, I don't remember if it was last year or the year before. I think it was last year. Um, <sighs> and, uh, like, I, I immediately saw it. I saw the controls for it. I'm like, I'm like, is that one of those Japanese things? Is this? And then, like... While I was standing there, I was just kind of pressing the buttons, and it fucking shot water, and I'm like, oh, it is. Okay. That's good to know. Day or two later, one of my nephews comes in while I'm brushing my teeth, and he's like, hey, what are these controls on the side? And I'm like, "I'm like, oh, it shoots water up your butt so that you can clean your butt with water. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, no, that's a, that's, that's a real thing. He's like, that doesn't seem right. I'm like, okay, well, you don't have to use it. <laughs> Again, later that day, bathroom doors closed. I'm playing uh I'm playing chess with one of my nephews, and I just hear this fucking squeamish squeal sound happen. And then the kid comes out like three minutes later and he's like, he's like, that's freaking weird, man. That's so weird. And the next thing I know, every single kid was just going in there to try it. And I'm like, I would. I'm like, dude, what is this? What are you guys doing? All right. <laughs> All right. Next one's a little less absurd. Um, birds aim for you. They already fucking do, Kyle. <laughs> they definitely aim for my car. Man, that's annoying. I've you had... know, my sister got shit on by a seagull once. I know this is not what you mean, but a, a Canadian goose uh, did start flying at me from the top of a building. Just straight at me, and I was like, "This is how I die." <laughs> no, here's the thing. I think that that is how I'm taking it. Not only do they shit on you, they just they're out to get you. Yep. So it is just the birds now. Because like, god damn it, do you know how many fucking windows are in this neighborhood? <laughs> what is it about my fucking window? <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. And this bird is like, no, dog, I'm attacking your window. Good thing I don't okay. eat chicken, because then they're purposely like, we'll infect ourselves with salmonella and bird flu so we can kill that one. <laughs> okay. I don't go out often. <laughs> that seems like a bad then, idea, I, John. I, like, I, I like agree, it does clean. feel like a bad idea. <clears throat> I like being clean. I'd start hunting. I still wouldn't eat them, but I'd at least kill them. <laughs> that's more malicious. I know. Yeah, that's, that's worse. Why. That's why. <laughs> I like being clean. All right. How much is it going to cost you? I like being clean. I like being clean. You know, on my way to work last week, I saw a dude absolutely destroy a fucking Canadian uh, goose that was uh, on... <laughs> All right, we've got our numbers. Uh, by the Caterpillar site. <laughs> oh, yeah. In Englewood. Mm-hmm. He just, I just saw a fucking, <laughs> a fucking feathers go. Oh, and no. then that goose is now laying on the side of the road. Buddy. Dude, I don't give a shit about Canadian geese. All the Canadians, people are nice because they put all their hate and sin into the fucking geese. 
That's that's probably true because uh, mm-hmm. the uh, the the Royal City Brutlegers were all incredibly nice people. They were. That's great. <laughs> okay, John coming in at the highest today. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and a free frosty from every visit Ooh. to Wendy's. Which we both agree that seems like a terrible yeah, idea with window. this one. And, and I'm reaching out. <laughs> <laughs> and a place to aim. <laughs> Get it. Chris coming in with only but, 150, 000, well, or 100, let me explain. 000. If I give them a target, mm-hmm. it's a free frosty. So, like, I'm not really losing anything for it. <laughs> you're losing out on your frosty. Like, you're, I'm you're losing like, out oh, on the free frosty. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And Scott with 75,000. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be real fun. You get a vague description of how you die. Oh, easy. John, do not care. I'm, I'm of the okay. I'm of the mind, like a band aid. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there Rip with you. Yep. Better better to know. Better Honestly, to know. if I didn't have to put a price on it, I wouldn't. Right. Uh, Chris coming in as our high bidder with ten dollars. <laughs> wow. Kyle, finish it. Uh, I can't do that what? on screen. Um, I wrote. I don't have a I camera. Wrote Ten dollars saying- and a slow jerking off motion while you tell me. Oh, <laughs> that's what I want. Wait, I don't like that. Wait, Kyle, you could have you could have absolutely said that. <laughs> Unless, you, are you I the know. one delivering our vague our vague death? No, I was assuming no. you just get it no. psychically. No, when or I something. imagine Satan approaching me, it's usually in Kyle's form. Oh, really? In, in my head, it's cool. Kyle has bumped his head and and now has psychic powers and is telling me this. See, <laughs> my devil is in the form of his father. Oh, oh yes, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, Scott with one penny. And John with two Shiba Inu and <laughs> two thousandths of a fucking <laughs> said. Oh wait, there's a couple more zeros there. Oh, is it? Is it more than that? Is it two? Uh, two no, ten thousandths. Uh, no, no. I just I wasn't putting it in there correctly. Okay. Um, you're. Glows all the time at the level of a 250 a watt hot? light bulb. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a good question. We're going to assume no. Dude. That's essentially, you will blind anybody who sees it, probably even if you're I wearing that pants. Anyway. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's like, I, I need special sunglasses to go to the restaurant. Okay, second question. <laughs> Can I color code this light bulb? Sure. Scott, why not? All right, we do this. <laughs> and Chris, okay, actually, I'll throw on <laughs> Duel of the Fates. Who wants to be Darth Maul? <laughs> two of us can be Darth Maul. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we need a fourth person then. And two of us will just have to be asked, asked to ask. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, I think you're vastly under or over uh, underestimating how bright this is, John. That's fine. <laughs> okay, um, like a regular light bulb watts. is like yeah, yeah. sixty so, watts. Um, yeah. So it's fourteen thousand lumens is a two hundred fifty watt light bulb. Mm-hmm. That is as bright as the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Like to to go you to the, the sun restroom, in your we pants. Will need Special. We either just close our I eyes have, and pray. You need a welding mask. Special pants. Sunglasses. Uh, Scott, you could never sleep again. <laughs> what? Why? Dude, that's gonna be real bright. I mean, I'll be fine. Do you, like you do well I, with light. again. I get a special <laughs> special mask <laughs> to not see the light. John, instead of blackout curtains <laughs> for your room, you have blackout curtain sheets. Oh, <laughs> blackout diapers. Yes, yes. There are ways around this as long as you have the money. Uh, this is going to be a hefty chunk of change. <clears throat> I don't even like to acknowledge my own penis. Honestly, to have other people acknowledge it. Honestly, it's 
I don't know. Maybe I'm not looking at this the right way, but I don't know how much it would really bother me. It would change my life a little bit, but I don't know. Oh, guys. It takes it a lot. Guys, but okay. We're, we're, we were spelunking and now we're trapped in total darkness. Don't worry, guys. I got this. It's Glowcock Man. <laughs> Glow is the bit under self. Now, okay, hear me out. What if it was one of those glow sticks where you had to break it and that's what it turned on? <laughs> but then you just, why would you ever do that? that when you're in my- the cave and there's no <laughs> light source. That drops my price. So for this one, Scott coming in as our big bid at $400,000. Yeah. Okay, okay. Chris with ten thousand and John only needing seven hundred and fifty dollars for the son and his pants. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing: like, you know, right. <clears throat> I guess I'm not getting laid anymore. So really, I just need like some good shades and then Pornhub. <laughs> if it's not gonna burn my hand to touch it, I'm good. I don't like this line of thinking. I don't like. It. <laughs> Hold on a second. Here's something I didn't consider. <laughs> It's like a, an energyless production of light, correct? Mm-hmm. You yeah, are, you could just become, that's like your job to stand in front of a solar panel. <laughs> I was, I was going to say like, <laughs> Stick your like, I don't, I don't think panel. I can continue the job that I have now. I don't, I don't feel like that I would be able to accomplish things <clears throat> professionally, or at least it'd be too big of a distraction. Like people would be like, dude, why is your, why is your crotch glowing? I'd be like, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Mind your fucking hey, business. Hey, stop looking at my crotch. All right. That's another thing. They pointed out, you're like, hey, are you sexually assaulting me? Yeah. And now, like, <laughs> my my area of the business is no longer performing to its standards because I have such a fucking glowing c- cock problem. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, worst case scenario, you know, we now have a YouTube channel with a guy that has a glowing cock. <laughs> You, That's that is pretty cool. You, I don't. I think we'll get demonetized. You don't need grow lights for. You honestly would never be able to see it on camera for uh, indoor planting. No, we absolutely could show it on camera if we label it as like a medical procedure that we're showing. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Anytime you use an object, it says its oh, name like bro. a Pokemon oh. until you put it down. Oh, actually, maybe I don't love that. <laughs> can you imagine can like you, you get in your car it's just like car car car, car. No, no. Chevy Chevy I'm Malibu imagine. Chevy Malibu like, I'll be right back guys I gotta go to the restroom and we just hear dildo dildo <laughs> <laughs> well I'm just thinking like also I'm your just clothes like, oh yeah it's, I was thinking like my my laptop at work it's just like every time I fucking mm-hmm. click a button you just hear laptop 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 or each button yeah. individually. And when you say use, do you mean interact with? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so just, if like, I'm writing with a pencil, <clears throat> is that all one interaction? Yep. Nope. It's like I keep imagine saying his name till you like put as, it down. As long as you were holding the pencil, like okay, here's another question. I am not even touching my computer. It's just like right a now. Pokemon going off on am you. Am I using my computer? <laughs> right now. Yes. That's yes. rough then. Um, so hold on. For a pencil, you just learn how to do cursive, and then you have pencil. no, no, no. It's, they said, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's just going to stretch its name out the whole time. But you're hearing that the whole time. Well, I don't think it's stretching its name out. It's just going like, like it's like a Pokemon. Like you're holding it while you're holding it and using it as a tool. It's mm-hmm. basically alive, going like Pikachu, Pikachu, but it's saying pencil. Okay. Whoa. Well, as long as it yes. doesn't like do the same call. Every time. I think it might. Because, uh, like, Pokemon it has different calls, like, Pika. Well, they got, like, three. Pika. Choo! Um, and so, like, oh, I mean, if you look at the games, then you'll have, like, blah! <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I think it's so funny that uh, I'm not saying I would do it for a, number, a cheap amount. For a cheap amount, I would do it. Just for the funny factor. I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think it'd be funny to be, like, I play, and then have the card just be like, blue eyes, white dragon. That is pretty cool. Yep. But no, it'd just be like, like, you know, blue eyes, blue eyes. Well, mine's locked then. 
I'm favoring the number four, I'm realizing. John is saying 30,000. And a pair of Raycon Ooh. earbuds. Which is, interestingly oh my enough... God, that means the freaking earbuds will be saying, Raycon, Raycon, in your <laughs> ears. Interestingly ear. enough, this episode has been brought to you... No, I'm just kidding. If only. He keeps making the sponsorship jokes, and one of these times is not going to be a joke. I know. Uh, Scott with four thousands. Yep. Chris with five dollars. How am I not the lowest? <laughs> you were. Scott was at oh, four thousand. Okay, I didn't hear you oh, I was talking I over him. I'm sorry. Just, yeah, Scott uh, was shouting over me. We've done a great job of that this episode. Yeah, yes, great job. Very good. Yep. Novel idea. Absolutely. For one year, everywhere you go, you are pushed in a baby stroller by an incredibly strong, muscular man wearing a tiny muscle <laughs> outfit. That's fucking is awesome. it like a, is it sized for me? The the muscle no, 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 outfit. The baby stroller. No, it's it's just. I oh to, yes, I have to like. Everywhere I go. Okay. Everywhere. I can't work for that entire year. Why not? <laughs> Why, he's gonna just... Have the muscle guy do it. He's gonna push... <laughs> Ooh. Dude, I'm set, dog. I think this would be a delight. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I can't work like that. I think I just realized how much so, my dignity's worth. I need enough money to cover <laughs> not working. You can't work like that? I've No, he's he's taking care of me like I'm a baby. No, he's pushing, he's you, pushing around you around like you're in a no, he's just, you're in a stroller. Shh, shh, this is he, this is my fantasy yeah. show. Okay, all right. Oh, <laughs> it's a fantasy, huh? <laughs> okay. Interesting take. It's acceptable. So you like being pushed around by a man in a tiny muscle outfit, eh? No wonder he likes hanging out with you so much. So I'll do it. I'll do it for uh, twice my salary. <laughs> I'd be good for it. Okay, Chris coming in with fifty thousand. John selling himself out for twenty dollars, and Scott just needs the barest amount of money yeah. in a penny. I think it would be a delight. Like a 40 spending? I think my dignity is worth $20. <clears throat> I don't even okay. think it's that odd, right? Like, it's basically a rickshaw. Yeah. Deaf. Basically. Deaf. All right. It's like a sign of wealth. <clears throat> All right, Kyle. Let's see what this one is. I, we, got, we got three more. Every time you cut yourself, all of your blood comes out. But you won't die. Okay. Do you feel like the effects of like the lightheadedness, headedness, and then passing out? Uh, when your blood comes back, it'll go away. Interesting. I feel like that'd That's be a rough. really I'm... weird high. This is rough. It'd be like five minutes. Okay. See, the problem is, is I'm thinking about self harming. Oh, um, no, I'm just. I know there's like, other I'm... opportunities mm. where, like, you get a splinter. Yep. I'm a nail biter. Yep. Like. Yeah, I... Scott, you bleed I, randomly sometimes just when you're with us. <laughs> my hands crack and bleed. I currently have a, a spot where I would they completely did that today. Just in the middle of d and I'd be like, exactly. oh, come on, man, not on my couch. Imagine this compounding with the paper cut one. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm -mm. And the fast food, so I wait two <laughs> hours just to fucking <laughs> lose it all in my car. <laughs> We're just waiting in your blood. <laughs> the fucking Taco Bell dude just freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I'm gonna need a big old. And you're just going. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's I, fine. Uh, it happens all the time. I oh, can't. dear. I can't. I'm gonna mm. need a lot of money. I bleed too often. <sighs> I don't. Me not dying is the only reason it's as low as it is. I don't bleed all that <laughs> right? often. Like, how much blood do I have? That's a lot of. I don't want to clean that up. So I'm hiring somebody. I'm hiring a team of people to follow me. I would need to leave in, live in a clean room, like a, like basically a, a shower room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to put a price on this. <clears throat> um. I don't think. <sighs> My fear is that I would get addicted to it. What? Huh? 
<laughs> Could like, you imagine? Um, like, a, a, I know the, the, the hazard is going away because I know I'm going to wake up from it. So then it's just like, like, it's going to happen accidentally one time where I fucking prick my thumb or something. And, like, I freak out, but then the next time I wake up, and then, like, a couple times later, then it's going to become, like, uh, like I said, a self-harm thing where I'm like, oh, I get this really lightheaded, passing out feeling. And then I wake up later. I don't know how I would wake up. Maybe I wake up with, a he- like, a headache or, like, feeling, like, terrible. I don't know. See, what if you're brushing your teeth and I, your gums? Bleed? I thought about that, too. And then I hit I, my head on the fucking sink. Mm-hmm. Guess what? Concussion number nine. <laughs> See, <laughs> I like the idea that, uh... <laughs> And now I cut my head from hitting my head on the sink, so I'm going to pass out even faster. So, I like the idea that you're getting mugged, and you just, like, bite your thumb, and then they get... Like a sea cucumber. Yeah, and they get scared at all the blood that just comes rushing. I don't... Or that lizard that shoots blood out of its eyes. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know what a correct price for this would be. Chris... Coming in with the high bid, nine hundred million dollars. Oh. That's <laughs> Scott fifty thousand, okay. no. John at ten thousand. I was five hundred thousand. Oh, oh, five hundred thousand. Can you I can you keep it at fifty I so I feel that. better that we're close? <laughs> Last two. They're a bit. They're a bit lower energy. So hopefully the other you. Kyle, easy. you know what? I don't. Um, I don't want this. I don't want this low energy shit. Hit me with the best one you got left. Uh, I don't know that. I think I might have deleted it. Control Z, my guy. (laughs) Yep. Okay. Well, while I'm doing that, 20% of the time, when you throw something away, it comes back and hits you in the face. (laughs) Dude. (laughs) Oh. Even like toilet paper. Oh, no. I mean... <laughs> no. That would be awful. Like, I'm also just thinking, like, what if you fucking throw something heavy away? Like, it's like, well, time to get rid of the old John Deere. You've been good to me, girl. You've been good to me. <laughs> and you're just walking away and it just fucking lands on you? <laughs> oh. Most of everything I throw away is light. Yeah. Although, let's think about this, actually. You throw away a piece of furniture. I make a sport out of the paper that I throw away at work, you know, shooting it into the trash can. 20% of the time that comes back, so I get to shoot it again. So I can make a game out of this. Mm-hmm. It's almost like a convenience. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to need, like, a shitload of money. <laughs> do I? How often do I throw away heavy shit? How, how often do I throw away heavy shit... To the point where I would chance it. All right, I, 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 I've, I've, I'll add one more at the end since you went a hard one. All right, so this this upcoming one is the last one. Uh, I can do that instead. That'll work. I think I think I I think I'm going with this again. Honestly, I don't think I need to go a crazy high number. I mean, it just trips to the restroom alone make this need to be a high well, number. Well, is that considered <laughs> throwing it away? I think so. But again, you this can also be mitigated through a bidet. Like, well, no, I guess, sure, but, like, that's the thing. Like, I blow my nose in my face. Oh, you see, I pick my nose. So. Uh, that can be mitigated through a handkerchief. I'm, I, that's even more disgusting. I hate handkerchiefs. I hate the idea of blowing my nose and putting it in my pocket. I got the last one, guys. Okay, yeah, what's the answers? Uh, the answers for this one coming in with a million dollars from Chris. Yeah, I don't want to fucking hear it, 300,000. <laughs> a million dollars. 300,000 from Scott and 10,000 from John. Final question. Right, here we are. For the rest mm-hmm. of your life, every month, once a month, you will give birth to a mini version of yourself that lives its full lifespan in two days and you have to take oh, wow. care of it. For the rest of my Birth life, of what? what is it getting burned out of? My peen? <laughs> you guys can determine that however you want. If I vomited up, that's not so bad. For me, it would be best if it just, like... Mini version of myself. How many? Are we talking like a foot tall, exactly how I am? Or are we talking like Austin awesome uh... Powers mini me? 
like a like a little e kind of guy. You could you could definitely hold it in one hand. Okay, all right, oh, that's adorable. Okay, hold on. Do I have to take care of it? Uh, I mean, it's just gonna die yes. in a couple days. But no, I think it's part of the deal that we have to take care of it. Yeah, this is. It didn't say we had to take care of it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I could probably make a pretty good like. It's barely a person. I could make a pretty good influencer <laughs> career out of it. It's barely a person because I'm barely a person. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wonder, is it exactly like you are at the time that you fucking spew it up? Or is it uh-huh. exactly the same person as you are the moment the deal is struck? Like, if I if I go smack my head on um, something and get another concussion, <laughs> <laughs> more concussion jokes, uh, mm-hmm. does it also, the next one that comes out also has that concussion? No, it's it's it it comes out as a baby and lives your entire life. Now I'm very in two days. confused. Oh, on on fast that last fast hour forward. I get to learn it, things about my life. I don't know about that. I think it it'll just it's had the experiences that it's had, I imagine. I think I think I'm finally hitting higher than six digits. <laughs> I don't think this is a very monetizable situation though. Oh, that's gross. I don't mind being a freak show, or at least having this little thing, disgusting freak, be a freak show. Yeah, yeah, that is that is very fair. And it's you know, it, under the assumption that I'm vomiting it up. Okay, I'm sending you more, Kyle. You'll have to explain to the cops why there's so many hamster-sized bones in your backyard. <laughs> Corpses. <laughs> I'm just flushing them. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> Okay. Oh, all right. So we have John coming in on our uh, as the highest bidder for the last one this time. Fifteen million dollars and a small house for them to live in and store all the dead bodies uh, of its past selves to find in some weird horror get out (laughs) scenario. Oh, God, what the fuck are you doing? (laughs) Scott is saying 10000 and Chris is at $75. $75 to fucking throw up a small version of yourself? And that's the best way for it to come out. It's once a month. I can time it. <laughs> I can get the days off. If anything, it comes out on a game and it can roll my... D- it can sit on the table and be my mini. <laughs> that would actually be kind of cute. Except it comes out here's as a thing, baby. Here's what I'm thinking. Like, I went so low because... The only reason I went so low because is because um, <laughs> this isn't dissimilar to being a woman. Okay. And having your 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 period. Only that lasts longer. Um Exactly. You know So if it, in that sense, I would need in order for me to get a period every month, I would need to be like I'd need to be getting some cheddar. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, could you imagine? There's this, just this this horrible but great world where Chris vomits up a version of himself. It comes out as a baby, um, uh, but he vomits up a version of himself while we're doing game, and it's Cody's game, so we're all in person, and he has to sit there and roll a dice. And because his rolls are always so bad, somehow this roll goes out of the fucking box, lands on the baby of him, and kills it. <laughs> well, I was gonna say this. They have to take care of it, right? Chris, if you give me the $75, I'll just kill your baby. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're allowed... I don't think okay. we're allowed to abort many us. I mean, that's one way to take care of it. <laughs> the uh, The Supreme Court said so. It's not an abortion. It's already been born. <laughs> oh, it's a murder. Yeah. <laughs> make Infanticide. it a murder. Oh, don't want to make it a All right. Wow. Well... What are our totals here? Yeah, let's let's hear, Kyle. All right, so down. These are going to be difficult. Okay, let's see. I think I. Uh, I lost. think Scott <laughs> automatically falls out with anything you could potentially have added. Uh, immediately getting canceled out by the hundred right, trillion. Right. But uh, outside of the hundred trillion, you have. Um. How many zeros is that? 
one million six hundred six thousand eight hundred and four dollars, and then add a hundred trillion yep. to that. Chris currently coming in uh one two ten Wait, billion nine hundred three million six hundred three thousand one hundred and ninety two dollars. Hold on, uh. Kyle, you're doing this in Excel? You don't have yes. a total area? I do. It's at the bottom. That's what I'm reading. It just doesn't have commas. Formatting, my man. Bro. Wow. Oh, well. God. This guy. Did you think I was just doing all that math in my head yes. that yeah. fast? Sure. Oh, damn. I didn't think that. Okay, yes. John, coming in. As our winner, as the cheapest bitch God on the block, right I am. <laughs> with only <laughs> fifteen million four hundred eighty-three thousand six hundred. I want you guys to know that fifteen million was the very last one. <laughs> <laughs> I w- I want to say no dignity. I would be much lower. It would be much closer. I think. If you guys understood the gravity of being hunted by a man. Okay, uh, take out each of our outliers, then. Well, I'm I'm sorry, Scott. I'm sorry. Throughout the whole thing, I was told I'm not allowed to say no. I gotta do it. That's The point is, you're not allowed to say no to whatever well, number you come up I with. I understand What's that now. you could not say no to? Scott, you know, out of everybody here who's gonna get it wrong, it was me. <laughs> we all know that. We all know this guys, game. Guys, you need to hurry up. I only have disk space remaining for recording 248 hours and 55 minutes. Oh, oh God. I only have 147 hours. Is that the premise of Speed 6? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to keep recording this podcast, because if we don't... We're don't all know. fucked! Reese Witherspoon's gonna get stabbed. <sighs> well, guys, I hope Send you have fun. Curse. Listening to uh, hold on us before we stop. ramble on like idiots. Stop! Stop ending the podcast. Um, before we do that, you know, remember that time that we were doing a podcast? I think it was in a podcast, uh, and I was like talking to you guys, you and Chris, and there's like a formless blob in my mind that I don't think is Kyle. Okay, hmm. that's how I think of Kyle. Either way, uh, we we were talking and. Uh, about D and D of all things, <laughs> am I right? And oh, okay. Chris, you said something along the lines of, um, "I don't want to be fat in game because I have to be fat in real life." Stop making Sven fat. And I said, "Well, that's interesting because why did you make Sven a fucking idiot then?" <laughs> and that was not I in a podcast. Say, <laughs> Um, <laughs> that was, that's a good burn. It was a good burn, <laughs> and I got you so good. Okay, what does this have to do with anything? I'm sorry. Oh, it's all good. I'm, I'm sorry uh, that I, I I don't think you're an idiot, but it was a good joke. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, also while we were recording this episode, we got another comment <gasps> on episode thirty three. What a way to end the podcast. Roller Derby uh, has some serious energy. Uh, by an Aaron Yeager. Oh! Who says... The Attack on Titan character? Does that mean I am Aaron Hunter? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we did, we yes, did that's confirm what it that. Means. We did confirm yes. that, Aaron. We did confirm that. Yes, yes. But yes, you know it what? Mean that. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us i hope you guys enjoyed my corner i did it was fun i feel like john is a degenerate (laughs) so nothing's changed Uh, exactly (laughs) status quo maintained yep yep and i feel uh i feel like i need to go out and wax a turtle for how much how much much money it was 12.50 i think 12.50 Chris, I think if you buy me a couple uh, of packs yeah. of Coronas and some shots, I'll go scream in public. <laughs> yeah. I uh, don't want you to get arrested for public indecency. Dude, homeless people do that all the time and don't get arrested. 
Listen. And this is what it's like to see us on the next podcast. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> okay. Goodbye, everybody. Very well.